Hello, everybody. This is Sheldon Rice. I'm the Chief Solution Architect with Cyber Corporation. And welcome to Pump Up Your Profits from Petite to Extra, Extra Large. Oh, joining me is Mr. Mike Chabet. Uh, Mike's the VP of Sales and Marketing at Cyber. And uh, we're going to show you some concrete ways to um, reduce your supply chain costs with RFID. Just a couple of housekeeping notes. And that is, is that uh, you're muted, but that doesn't mean you can't participate. We really encourage questions. And uh, joining us on the call is also uh, Phil Andrianos. He's the digital marketing specialist here at Cyber. And he'll be monitoring the on the on the go to webinar little taskbar, the uh, control panel, uh, you have a place to ask questions. And please send them in and uh, we will answer them as we go along in the presentation. I really thank you for taking your time. But uh, uh, you know, time is really the most precious commodity and we do appreciate that uh, you, you've chosen to spend some time with us. Uh, What's the agenda? Well, well, right off the bat, we know that you're, you're here because you're tagging. And why are you tagging? You're tagging because typically a, um, you've got a uh, compliance mandate from one of your retail partners. And uh, so we'll talk about what that really means. And uh, real quick uh, overview, super fast overview, you know, actually a humorous overview of the benefits of RFID, and then we'll get a little more detail on the ROI, and then we'll move to the meat of the presentation, which is how our Edge Magic platform and its solutions uh, for various uh, component parts uh, listed here, uh, how we can uh, impact uh, your bottom line. And uh, the, real, the real takeaway here is how RFID can benefit the brand owner, not just the retailer. It's really the, the bigger bank for everybody. Is, is, is and we'll show you how to take advantage of it. So it's not just a cost, but it's a, well, and it's an investment that'll that'll repay you. So tag your it. Okay, you've got this this uh, mandate. You get the letter from whoever there is retail part customer and says you got to tag. Well, let's put, put ourselves for a minute in the retail of shoes. I'm telling you, they are schizophrenic. Why? Because they've actually got two personalities. That they that they need to um, present to the world. On one hand, they have to compete with the Amazons of the world on the e-commerce front, because that obviously you know there's tremendous numbers that are pumping out of e-commerce these days. Plus, they're competing with oh you know Walmart. It depends on the on the category that they're in, and they're also competing with um, other retailers who are omni-channel experts who are you know have have merged their um, E-commerce uh, storefront with the uh, with their physical stores, with their brick and mortar stores, as distribution points. So that, that's one side of the challenge. On the e-commerce side, obviously, they're competing on price, inventory availability, and delivery. I mean, that's what e-commerce does. And uh, as you know, if somebody knows what they want already, they'll just go online, search for the best price. Can I get it tomorrow? Thank you very much. Goodbye. So, is it in stock? Can I get it tomorrow? Goodbye. But they, all your retail customers are also competing with other retailers in the brick and mortar space. And it's funny, it's the antithesis actually of that e-commerce you know, approach, which is known as slow shopping. It's this apparently a new phenomenon. What does it mean? It means you, know, you have a, a um, cappuccino bar in the store. You have a piano playing. You've got um, an experience. You've got selfie wall. So vary it, whatever it is, where the goal is stickiness and to keep the customer in the store longer to improve the shopper experience. So that's what these, you know, so, the, so your retail partners, they, they have it on both ends. On one hand, they want a customer to spend more time in the store to, to grow a relationship with the customer. And on the other hand, they also have to be able to um, quickly deliver uh, and respond to um, an e-commerce sale that just flies through the, the DC. And in some cases, uh, you'll be drop shipping for them, where it's click, you know, order, boom, in the cart, pay, gone, and and and, and that's the extent of the relationship. So that's why um, you know we see retailers having this schizophrenic side to them. So what are the benefits of RFID? So uh, well, Mike's a fisherman. I'll let him take over uh, uh, here. Mike, what do we see here? 
I changed the screen. That's coming up to you. Oh, well, we're definitely on. Let me see what. Excuse me. Hmm. A, little, a little bit slow on the capture. It was. Pre, um, um, I did go forward. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah, as we can see here, uh, we're using a tool in a barcode environment, and that tool, we need to seek and find the object that needs to be scanned, and we also have to present the tool at the right end. we got to find the barcode with the red line and put the red line in the barcode, sort of like putting the bait in front of the fish and not behind it. So barcoding is... Uh, a one-on-one -on -one relationship between the tool and the object being scanned. Now, this may be a, this may not be a bad thing. There may be certain applications within the, uh, uh, within the process where we want to mix barcode and and RFID for those isolated scans, exception handling, and things of that nature. Now, on the RFID side, go ahead, Shell. Yeah. On the RFID side, we can see that we are collecting lots of information very quickly with the tool. So this is uh, this this is where uh, we're, we're catching a lot of uh, scans, reads, uh, what's inside of a box without opening it, what's on a pallet without depalletizing it, uh, and this is where we get into the mass read of of, of RFID versus the single read of RFID of barcoding. That, that that's the that's our that's our our lesson on the benefits of RFID. Very straightforward there. But let's talk about some of these benefits for retailers. Wait, your screen will uh, refresh. And if I've refreshed, there we go. Okay. So the full list is the benefit that this is why the, the retailer is doing it. Um, you know, their increased revenue, the profit margins, etc. All the things that are listed here. Their uh, uh, accurate product location and availability data. Obviously, they've got you know mixed SKUs. Um, their goal is uh, to um, enhance the customer satisfaction. They don't want a customer to ever walk out of the store and say that he couldn't find something that wasn't available. But what we've done here is the bullet items that are in orange, well, these are the benefits that the brand owner can, can take advantage of. In other words, if you can lower your cost in your DC, well, guess what? You'll improve your profit margin. Okay? You're optimizing your fulfillment. You're reducing the labor cost, anything that I can do to help you reduce your labor cost in, the, in your warehouse, well, that's going to, you know, you put, the, put those folks to work on more revenue-enhancing opportunities. And which leads to the ROI, the same measure. Now, these numbers, they come from GS1, they come from Auburn University. They, um, as uh, you know, Michael often mentions, we're, we're no longer in the experimental phase. This is a proven technology, and the, these are the numbers that people are seeing. So if the retailers look to is, in, in, you know, reduce the out-of-stock incredible numbers, improve their accuracy, well, guess what? So can you, the brand owner. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to um, uh, reduce your receiving time, and we'll show you how. Uh, reduce the cycle count time, validate your orders, a whole bunch of different ways that you can really take advantage of the technology. So how does Edge Magic work for a brand owner? Well, this is the full flow chart, how it would work for a retailer, but all well, the brand owners got many of the same steps as a, as a retailer. So the first place is is tagging those goods. Where does that start? All right. So in the Edge Magic product, you can, um, you can define your serialization, and Edge Magic will manage the serialization of all your SKUs. We support it. Uh, we can allow you to. Uh, to set sort and stop ranges as well as to find blocks. So for example, you might need a block of serial numbers for use of tagging in your DC or existing garment. You may decide, you know what, I've got a factory in Bangladesh. Let me assign a block there. Let me assign a block to 
Latin America, assign a block to Germany, whatever. Okay, MedgeMagic will keep track of that. It's a field proven uh, solution. And, um, you know, one of our customers had 235,000 stock keeping units that we were uh, keeping the uh, unique serialization for each and every one of them. And we support the TID, tag ID, which is the chip based serialization. And uh, that allows uh, you to work with. Uh, with service bureaus or with uh, um, um, you know uh, overseas, where you choose not to have so either way you have both options. You can have the software-based serialization management as well as the chip-based serialization management. Let's talk about some of the ways that we can uh, help you do the tagging. Um, Michael, take over and tell us what the, what we see here. All right, we have a number of ways to provide tagging within the distribution center environment. And uh, just to touch base a little bit on the serialization piece, the EdgeMagic product has been designed to work harmoniously with all of the service bureaus that are, that are available. So we know what the three or four top service bureaus are. Uh, by managing the serialization within those environments, uh, learning how they're conducting their serialization within a particular uh, a brand owner, uh, we have a number of brand owners that may have uh, relationships with three service bureau operations as well as be having printers in remote factory locations as well as being able to use devices as we see in front of us. So what this allows us to do in the DC, we have returns, we have exception handling, we have items that we uh, QC that we found that may have been mistagged, or we found some dupes that may have come in for whatever reason. Uh, this device allows us to replace that RFID tag and actually scan the UPC code on the garment and re-energize a new RFID tag with a uh, with an EPC for that garment very very efficiently and very quickly. And again, working in a global environment and supporting multiple sources and resources for tags and labels. Go ahead, Shelley. Yep. And tell us what, what monstrosity we have here. Yeah, there are certain applications where um, we may want to generate RFID labels within a factory environment. We may have a prime factory or maybe we may have some small seasonal vendors. So the small seasonal vendors, we can actually set up a system where uh, we're generating all of the items by SKU. We can punch in a cut ticket number, a, 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 we can cut a work order number, and uh, in volume produce the appropriate labels for that particular cut ticket or, or work order and uh, distribute those labels to remote locations for the small seasonal vendors as well as being able to handle uh, any of the applications that occur in a DC where I have certain SKUs in stock that have not been RFID tagged yet, but I have new stores have opened and now I now need that inventory to be RFID enabled for those particular retailers. I have the capability in-house to not only do uh, singulate uh, scan and encode, but I can now batch print uh, RFID tags and labels for those particular garments. Thank you, Shelley. And then there's the handheld device. This actually allows us to address, again, in QC areas, returns, exceptions, reverse logistics, be able to uh, inspect uh, QC those garments that have come back. And now we're able to actually apply uh, an RFID inlay uh, or a blank integrated tag. You know, service bureaus will provide you with some tags that have inlays in them that may be blank. And we have the ability now of being able to select the SKU for that item and scan and encode those tags uh, real time uh, on the spot, uh, ready to turn those garments and, and send those out to either customers, uh, e-com, or uh, to uh, brick and mortar stores. Thanks, Shelley. All right. All right. So now that's the first step. So we've, you know, those items are, are being tagged. Let's talk about some of the ways in which um, Edge Magic can help you. Um, improve your receiving of goods in from your factories. And when the slide changes, go ahead.